Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgos in a connection with Leo. We're gonna get right into this. This is going to be for Virgos in a connection with the side of Leo. I do wanna thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so, so greatly appreciated. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, okay? All right, let's get into this. This is going to be for Virgos in a connection with the sign of Leo. Show me Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see for Virgos in a connection with Leo. Guys, only take what resonates. Do not try and make this fit into your life, okay? You will know. All right. And also know that, you know, tarot is fluid. This, this can be past, present, and or future. I tend to speak of present and future. I, that's the energy I tend to pick up. I tend to be, I, I'm, I tend to be able to feel the energy if it's past energy, but most likely it's what's going on now or what is coming your way. All right, Holy Spirit, show me, show me. This is for Leo and Virgo. So we have the Sun in reverse. We have the Empress in reverse. We have the Hierophant in reverse. We have the Fool. We have the Knight of Wands. Somebody's not happy with what's going on in their life right now. Somebody thought that something was going to be improving, a relationship, a commitment. Somebody feels a little bit foolish. Four of Swords, somebody jumped right into something because they thought that this person cared about them more than they actually did. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have Temperance. Patience is required. Let's see what's going on here. So we have the Six of Cups. This, is a, this could be a past life connection. This could be somebody that... This could be a connection with someone that you've known since childhood. Someone that you may have a child with. Um, this is definitely could be someone that want to come in and heal a situation. Let's get into this. Okay, guys. All right. So we have the sun. This is, this is not happy. This is not joy. This is somebody, this is lacking. Definitely getting that energy here with the sun. It, something is lacking here in this relationship. That strong Leo energy. Mm, somebody's lacking enthusiasm. Hmm. Yeah, because because you see, we have the Empress here. Somebody thought life was going to be more abundant, more happy. Somebody definitely thought this connection was going to bring them more fulfillment. And here with the Hierophant in the reverse, somebody definitely thought that this this they would have had a strong commitment or this relationship would have led to some type of commitment at some point. Somebody jumped right on in. Somebody took a leap of faith because they thought that this them and this person had some type of chemistry but yeah it's been tough this person feels alone somebody somebody definitely feels alone and somebody's not sure that they're going to ever get this ten of pentacles in this relationship this message is meant for someone not every one because spirit is also saying that there's a there's a need to kind of go with the flow be patient because for some of you guys, there is going to be a 10 of pentacles. For some of you guys, it may take a while and it may take a brief separation from you and this person. Why? Because for some of you guys, there may there's some healing that needs to be done. But there's still a lot of attraction between the two of you. Mm, somebody just has a lot of growing up to do. That's definitely what I'm getting here in this energy. But there will be a commitment. The divine is going to be stepping in. And for some of you guys, you may be getting pregnant for this individual. And there's going to be happiness. There is. The sun will shine. But patience is required for some of you guys. Let's see what's going on here. This is for Virgo in a relationship with Leo. This is for Virgo in a relationship with the sign of Leo. 
or some type of connection some type of a connection some of you guys you could definitely be married to this Leo and separated from them or they could be separated from you for some of you guys this Leo may be in some type of treatment facility and are you however that goes I'm definitely getting that here Some of you guys, you could definitely be struggling with your faith. Because things are not going as you thought they were going to be. And you're struggling with your faith. You're questioning God. You're, tr you're questioning God's will. You're questioning this connection. Hmm. Show me, Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see. For Virgos in a connection with Leo. Show me. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Try and remember how these cards flew out here. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. Somebody seems like they're running away from the police. That's what it looks like instantly. It looks like somebody is not paying attention and they're getting the hell out of Dodge. All right, so we have Judgment. Mm-hmm. Then we have the Tower. So there is a drastic change coming. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody is going to be losing their fortune. We have the Queen of Wands. Somebody's going through a divorce. We have the Ten of Cups in rever reverse. We have the Devil. Somebody has an addiction. And we have the wheel in the reverse. Something's not over and done with, though. For some of you guys, someone could definitely be going to jail. Some of you guys can definitely be going through a divorce. Hmm. Somebody's definitely not happy in this connection. It's not all that it's cracked out to be. There's something here with the legal system, though. Something's going to bring a significant change to this connection. Some of you guys could definitely be losing a baby and it, it'll make you question your faith. Question the divine. There's definitely a change. There's some type of financial hardship for some of you guys. Somebody's cold as ice. But there's, there's a loss. There's a loss here. Hmm. I have a Ten of Pentacles and a Ten of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's marriage, somebody's commitment, this relationship is ending. I feel like it's because somebody is going to be going to jail. Somebody is going to, somebody made a bad investment. There's something here though. There's something there's something toxic or some type of addiction here that is causing this upheaval somebody needs help in this relationship somebody needs some type of financial help or somebody needs help to get from under something that is controlling them something a tad bit obsessive what is going on here? All right, we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. We have the Hierophant. And we have the Chariot in reverse with the World in reverse. This is, I'm sorry, I might have said something else, but the, that's the Will in reverse. That's definitely some type of financial loss. There's great financial loss here. 
There's something that's going to happen that somebody's going to go to jail. Somebody is going to be going through a divorce. Somebody is losing some money. Somebody made a bad investment and it's going to cause life to be shaken up for somebody. There is going to be somebody may something something's going to cause a lot of pain in this relationship. I'm getting a feeling of somebody dodging the authorities. With a chariot here in the reverse. Hmm. We also have the world in the reverse. Like. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what's going on here. I'm getting a whole lot of messages here. This is Virgo and Leo, but there's definitely a lot of changes happening and it's not positive. So we let's go through this again. So we have the sun here in the reverse. We have the empress in reverse. This is somebody that is not listening to their intuition, not their emotions are all over the place. This is somebody that is questioning would here with the Hierophant in the reverse. Somebody that's questioning the divine. They could be losing something or something that they thought was going to be that was going to bring them happiness and joy is not happening. Why? Because they took a leap of fate and they jumped right into something because they thought, oh, wow. We have the 1111 here as well. They thought that this connection was going to bring them more satisfaction. But it's been a lot of heartache. A lot of stress might have caused this person. There may be a separation here. Patience is needed. Hmm. Yeah. But we have judgment here with the tower. So there's definitely some type of legal matter. Hmm. That is not going to work in your favor, whether it's Leo or Virgo. There's there's somebody's rendering a judgment, and there's gonna be there's gonna bring a significant change for some of you guys. This could definitely be a divorce. Definitely getting that. Somebody's gonna lose a lot of money, and a marriage is going or a commitment is going to end. Somebody has an addiction. Somebody's losing money to. Somebody's definitely losing money towards that addiction. There could definitely be somebody that is running from authority, somebody that is going to be going to jail. Somebody is battling some type of addiction here. I'm definitely getting that. And it's controlling them. It's controlling them. All right. So this is Virgos in a connection with Leo. This is what I have for you guys. If this message resonates with any of you, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.